So just finished a 5k run. If I can, there you go, 5.01 kilometers. Time for the 5k was 25 minutes and 47 seconds at a pace of 5 minutes, 8 seconds per kilometer. Welcome back team and welcome to my house in Aldershot. And welcome to the next video. It is a race weekend, half marathon weekend, believe it or not. I have signed up for uh, a half marathon in Fleet, which is local to where I live. And this will be that video, basically. What I do before um, the half marathon and what I do afterwards. Uh, and clearly there'll be, hopefully, some footage of me looking uh, pretty solid on the run itself. Uh, we'll see if it actually happens or not, but uh, I'm hopeful. I'm a little bit lighter than when I uh, previously did half marathons. Uh, I've done two so far in my entire life. So hopefully tomorrow that lighter weight equals quicker time, but we'll see. Anyway, uh, just on a 5k clearly, um, you've seen what I did just now. It was a fairly quick face, uh, pace for um, for a couple of days out before the half marathon, uh, but tomorrow will be a nice and slow gentle run. So um, that will keep me kind of, keep my legs a little bit, you know, a little bit fresh, uh, leg, keep it moving a little bit, just get that uh, lactic acid out, out, my, uh, out my system. Let me go grab my um, race outfit and all the equipment and stuff that I'll be taking with me. So yeah, I'll see you in a bit. And here we go. So clearly I've got a few things uh, that I will be using during my half marathon on Sunday. Um, and uh, some of those are clearly the clothes that I wear uh, myself. Uh, and some of those will be things that kind of help me um, endure the half marathon I suppose <clears throat> the hour and a little bit uh, that I'll be aiming for uh, probably hopefully under hour and 40 um, so to try and get that uh, hopefully these equipment will help me get that done uh, but before I do that I've literally just noticed that my battery needs changing so yeah I'll see you in a second let me change the battery cool fresh battery is on and let's crack on back first thing that I'll be uh, clearly wearing during my run is a brand new Safa vest. They've sent me these, uh, this vest, this running vest that looks quite cool. It's a uh, sort of relatively kind of normal sportswear material, kind of really light, nice and thin, um, and it will see me well advertised during the run itself. As you can see, nice big lettering. Um, so the so the people watching the race can uh, can see the charity that I'm running for, and clearly because it's part of my um, run to thirty still, um, you know, raising money for Safa. So the more I can do to raise awareness and uh, advertise, the better, really. So that'll be uh, what I'll be wearing on top, <clears throat> onto the bottoms. So. Uh, I have a many, many, many race shorts, uh, sorry, uh, running shorts in my collection. And I have only recently um, been exposed to this brand. Called Tracksmiths. And that's the badge, clearly. Tracksmiths. And these are the shorts that I'll be wearing. I can't remember the name of it. But uh, I'll put the link down in the description below if you really want to buy one. Uh, they're a little bit expensive, but um, they are very good quality. I love the, this sort of um, waistbands, nice and elasticated, nice and comfortable. They don't really dig in, and they've got a decent sized pocket at the back, as well as kind of a zipped pocket on the side for me to be able to put my uh, um, energy gels and stuff like that in here for uh, fueling during the race itself. I have found these really, really, really light 
uh, Nike socks. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a fiend for the brand. Uh, and these are very, very lightweight. I can't remember the name of it. Again, I'll put the link down in the description below. Uh, but <clears throat> these are super light, nice and compressed. Uh, they're, they're tight as well, so they compress your feet quite a lot. Uh, some people might not like that. Some people like it quite loose, so uh, they might not enjoy these, but they are perfectly fine for me. And the, one of the best things that uh, you can invest on to uh, kind of propel you a little bit quicker along the route is, of course, the shoes. And these will be the shoes I'll be wearing um, during my run. Oh my god! Wow! Look at that. These are the uh, Nike uh, Vaporfly uh, Next Percent. These are the first iterations of those, so you, you can get a, a, a more uh, newer version, so they're the uh, Next Percent uh, Vapor, Vaporfly Next Percent 2. But these are the ones, the first ones, and they are super, super, super light. Um, you can kind of almost even see through the um, the, the upper. Uh, it's kind of like a plasticky material, but um, perfectly fine for me. Um, you know, I don't sweat too much on my feet, so they're 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 perfectly fine. I'm pretty sure they're a little bit breathable, but but they're a little bit. Uh, the material is quite thin and quite plasticky, so um, probably not as uh, as breathable as normal shoes uh, that you might get. And that foam uh, is super light, and it's also carbon plated. These shoes are amazing. Um, once I have worn these out I will definitely be investing on the twos but in the meantime these are perfectly fine and they are perfectly uh, capable of hopefully getting me a new PB. Uh, headwear. Clearly you've seen from my videos, uh, excuse the messy hair, that I love my running hats and this hat in particular it's new uh, to my collection but um, this is from Bear Performance Nutrition. Um, you've seen me um, sort of talk about them a couple of times before. Uh, I have a couple of, um, they, so they, they clearly are a supplement brand and I have a couple of um, supplements that I highly recommend and I take myself, so I take um, in particular for sort of long distance runs, uh, I take um, a electrolyte powder and um, their kind of uh, carb source. Wait here two seconds. I've got them uh, in my other room, so I will bring them here just to talk about them. Back in a sec. We are. So this is uh, what I'm talking about. So this is the Carb Source G1 M Sport that they do. Uh, it is a pretty good fruit punch flavor. Um, I'll be having this uh, in the morning with my breakfast. This and a little bit of the uh, electrolyte powder. Oh, there you go. Water focus. Uh, the electrolyte and uh, G1M Sport, the carb source, uh, just to kind of get my um, glycogen level up in um, my bloodstream, ready to go for the race. Uh, so that'll be my pre-race nutrition. Uh, during the race itself, one I'll have uh, just before the race starts and two of them I'll have during the race are these sort of uh, science and sports gels. Uh, how you know any other gels uh, are also good but for me these works really well other brands uh, clearly do the same thing there are good brands there are bad brands but uh, most of them do the same thing they provide you with a energy source during your run when you're running quite quickly a, um, uh, you know it kind of helps you um, replenish your your uh, glycogen levels within the bloodstream to feed your muscles to keep working really that's the end uh, uh, that's the goal at the end of the day so um, uh, so yeah uh, these are what I'll be taking so yeah that's pretty much what uh, I'll be wearing what I'll be using to help me move faster and what I'll be eating and drinking uh, well more drinking uh, before and during the uh, race itself to help me go faster so yeah if you just join us, a warm welcome to the Fleet Half Marathon 2022, the Barclay Homes Fleet Half Marathon. Uh, just to remind you, if you're a military runner, you need to collect your race packs and numbers from the Fleet Cold. Uh, front of your t-shirt, running vest, we'll, uh, or we'll just get that done, and then, a running belt. We'll introduce uh, please make sure you've filled out the details yeah. on the back. So, um, if you're 
if you really wanted to, you can have a gin and tonic before the race and then finish the race and then one after, <laughs> just to get you going in the party spirit. Still go with the beat. Put that onto my running vest for today and uh, essentially start getting ready. I'm going to also take my uh, behind the scenes person around the race course. Two bays on the drive, some behind the finish line and some little entrance in the start area and also the woodland areas. The bird seems to be found in the building just along the and we're making a big work to the military uh, runners today. Signing my life away. Okay, that's the one. Final for the impossible, located in the park and out of the course. Remember to smile when you see the photographers and at World Sports Massage. Cool, I am. Good to go. Good to go. Sunglasses because most of the um, race is in the shade, I believe. So uh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, we've just been told that I'm not allowed headphones, so that's going to be quite interesting. Not being able to listen to music, so it might end up being a little bit slower, but hopefully not. kilometer mark and then the 15 kilometer mark ready for the end. Sprint finish hopefully. We'll see. Number one, four, seven, one, eight, six, five, 
Hold up. 131.16, so that is almost six minutes. Almost six minutes. It's uh, my new PB. My lace is a bit too tight on my left foot. Oh, really? But it's fine. Uh, run through it. But yeah, done. Got my goodies. Uh, what, did, what have I got? Got a. Paul Trotter, Yazoo. Other milkshakes are available. <laughs> Bottle of water, obviously. I did get a Many of Original. Probably be shit. And then a uh, uh, goodie bag full of goodies. I think there's a water bottle in there. Benjamin Smith in yeah. 1048, Daniel Hall. From this one, six, one, six, from this little thing, I've got like an extra goodie bag. I think these are bath salts. Yeah. Have some bath salts. So I'm gonna need that tonight, I think. But yeah. Yeah, that's it. I think uh, what should we do? Let's go. Should we go eat Nando's? Yeah, Nando's. Let's go eat Nando's.